what's up? How's everyone doing? Uh, got some books. Some old, some have come in recently, which is, you know, books are a little hard to come by right now. And I, I ordered a couple of full runs that I'm not going to share the entire thing of, but I will say that I was lucky that both of the runs arrived in nice condition. One was a 50 book, not a complete run, but the first 50 issues of a series, and the other one was an entire 25 issue run, and they both showed up in good shape, so I was really happy. I went on eBay and I, I gave some really good feedback. Cheers, they got me a Lipton Brisk. It's a Saturday night going on Sunday morning, May 10th. So I'll just, I'll start running through some of these books. I kind of padded out this haul with just some things that I have lying around that I haven't shared in a while just to kind of you know, add a little bit to it. Uh, this first one is this reprint that I, I know a lot of people have shared, but I still really like to have this Batman 181 reprint. I would definitely get more Go Go Checks uh, reprints. They need to do this with the uh, first Scarecrow, but you'll see. Actually, I have a nice little amount of Poison Ivy books here. This is a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy one. Nice art germ cover. I only got the Ivy this time. So I had this seller that I had a bunch of stuff pre-ordered with and I, you know, at the time I ordered it, uh, I wasn't, no one was expecting to be waiting three or four months for books that they were ordering maybe a month in advance. So I went ahead and I got a hold of the guy and I said, hey, you know what, do me a favor. Because I, I bought with this seller before. A lot of times I'll have stuff paid for in advance several months ahead of time where I'll be getting like new Prillos and the new Savage Dragons that you know I'll have, I'll have paid for. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll be pre-ordered from down the road and I just I sort of said hey um, you know this time just can you squash my orders um, I didn't want to lose track of what I had coming and they were like yeah we'll do that but um uh, you have some stuff that is already paid for that we have now. We're just going to go ahead and ship it. And I said, nah, you know, go ahead, go ahead and just squash the whole thing. I, I ordered that stuff that you already have just to kind of to save on some shipping. If it's cool with you, uh, just cancel the order. I'll, I'll buy with you again. In fact, I'll probably order the same books once Diamond started distributing again. But they said no, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and send you what we've already had lying around. So that's fine. And uh, you know, there's just some, some more cool Ivy stuff really. These are just some back issues that I I ordered from that company, but you know, I would have preferred that they regarded my wishes as something that they'll oblige, but I understand. They, they had these locked up where they couldn't sell them for a while. So they wanted to get a little something out of it. Batman got the Knights 61. So I kind of got shafted on the shipping. Like, I ended up paying like $8 shipping for three back issues of Batman Gotham Knights 64. But, whatever. That That's up to them and they're choice of conduct as far as how they want to do it. Uh, at this point, I probably won't be reordering those those books again with them, but um, it's alright. There's a lot of people who've got those books, you know. Uh, Batman Gotham Knights 15. This is a great one. 
I initially got this book from Marvin and I wanted another one. So, I uh, had a little Valiant Comics renaissance and I've been watching a couple of videos. I rewatched a really good channel's content called Exo Comics. This guy, he had the channel like three years ago. I checked he hasn't made a video in like 30 months, but I really like that he, he had a Valiant Comics focus channel. Like that, that was, that was his brand. <laughs> and he, he did a really good video on Unity. And I was like, you know what? I've never just sat down and read Unity. So go, let me go ahead and uh, go online and order the two little bookends. Now these, these two chapters, they didn't run through any of the eight Valiant titles at that time because these were, one was free and one was an issue one just titled Unity. So I found a guy who had these for the least money on eBay. Basically, like, <laughs> just pay for shipping and he'll mail them to you. But I, I haven't had this book in a long time. There's also a variant with a, a red trade dress, but I settled for the blue. Uh, great, very Windsor Smith stuff. And I also watched Howler Mouse's video. He just did a video like, I think it was the middle of March or something. He did a video all about Valiant Comics and he, he had a pretty good understanding of Unity. So I was like, man, let me go ahead and get on that. I don't fully understand what happened. I know. I don't try to come off as a Valiant expert or anything, I just love it. Um, these, these are the unobtainable books when I was a kid because they were so expensive. Uh, sorry if that fan's rattling, but it's warm in here. Um, and this is the closing chapter, 18. And like I said, it just ran through a book called Beauty. And this one was at $1.50 this time. So I got those, and the, the seller threw in this Secrets of the Value Universe Handbook, number two. So that'll be helpful. And I'll show you what's really cool. So, you know, just kind of browsing Unity, Valiant Unity, on eBay. Came across some stuff that I didn't even know existed. Because in the year 2000, when these properties were licensed through a claim, I learned that Jim Shooter got another crack at these characters in Unity 2000. And I bought these in a three issue lot. It's supposed to be uh, six issue little mini series, but only the first three came out. So you have Jim Shooter writing, Jim Starlin penciling, and Rubenstein inking. So those are all guys that, I mean, I see Starlin and Rubenstein at the shows. They get signed, and uh, Shooter, I mean, I don't know if. Uh, Comic Con Revolution is going to happen, but he was scheduled to be there, so there's still a chance uh, in August. But yeah, it's issue one. And issue two. These two have a connecting cover for two and three. And believe it or not, uh, book three because it was the issue that came out right before I got canned. This was the, this was the last issue before it was canceled. This, this book can go for $50, sometimes more. If you look up Unity 2000, number three, on eBay, like the only three copies I see anymore are like 
$68 or something. I happen to get this one with the other two for, for $12 plus shipping, so I thought that was pretty cool. And like I said, man, um, Jimmy Shooter uh, on some Valley. I, I tried to jump into these, and I tried to read uh, the first one, but, like, it, there's so many things already brought into motion, I, I couldn't really grasp it, but um, that's just because I wasn't reading the Acclaim Valiant, or Acclaim Unity stuff. Like, this is, uh, what are these guys called? Quantum and Woody. Like, I, I've never even read a Quantum and Woody comic, so. But I'll give them another shot, you know? Sometimes if you, if you jump into a story and you start reading, you'll kind of catch on, you'll, you'll get the gist of it. But that one, I was like, uh, yeah, I felt like I was walking into the middle of a movie or something, so. Hmm. Okay, so. I also picked up full run of Archer and Armstrong, because I needed, I needed the books to uh, do a little photo collage thing, and I've only read about one through five. I'll just show issue one for now. I'll, I plan on doing something with the, the other 26 issues. But I will note that I'd kind of forgotten this, but Issue 8 of Eternal Warrior and Archer and Armstrong are a flip book. But I'd kind of forgotten that issue 26 of Eternal Warrior and Archer and Armstrong are also a flip book. So that was kind of cool. If I ever knew that, I'd forgotten that I knew that and I had to relearn that. So, anyway, that was kind of cool. I mean, I wasn't expecting the 26th issue. I'll just finish off the Valiant stuff really, really quick. I got um, 1 through 50 of EXO. It's a 68 issue run for those later issues. The Ronnie Mars, Bart Sear stuff is kind of rare. And I don't. I'm not a, especially attached to it. I'd, I'd like to get the full run, but um, for the prices, like a one issue one through sixty eight of XO will run you like uh, it's like four hundred or best offer. So I guess they'd probably take like two fifty, but still, that's that's a lot of money for these books and uh, a package containing sixty eight books in the mail. Uh, I, I didn't like my chances, so I settled on 1 through 50, and the seller did uh, 80 bucks, so it's probably still a lot, but I ran it by um, one of my best buds, Davis Comic Finds, and I asked him, man, what do you think? Like, is that is that chasing, is that, you know, uh, good money? Am I... Am I uh, <laughs> Am I sending too much money for, for these books? And he kind of said, well, you know, for issue one and issue four, the first Shadow Man, you'll be getting your money back. And think of what it would cost you to track down those issues. And, like, you know, Davis is my, my sound thinking friend, you know? And the way he rationalized it, I, I liked his logic, and I went ahead and I, I paid the 80. So here's uh, issue zero. I still need this in the gold. But yeah, it was actually issues one through 50. And the guy sent me both versions of issue 14 with the, the Turok guest starring with the, both the pink and yellow trade dress. And he also included XO 50 O and 50 X. So it was like, well, like 53 books. But anyway, um, so here's the one. We did this with everything. Everything was 
this. Doubled up. I don't want to open issue one in the base of the fan, but it looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't seen the back yet. I actually have this issue one. I, I got one from Davis at a 9.6, but I need the loose copy. So, this looks pretty good to me, though. I mean, I see three really superficial ticks, like, almost like fresh from the uh, printing press, mandatory damage. So, too bad. Uh, this is issue three. But this is my third issue of my third copy of EXO Mano War 4. So I, I think I bought one five years ago on eBay for like 18 bucks. A real gem mint copy. And then I found one in a dollar bin at the comic hideout. And now I got this one in the, the lot. Also pretty damn nice. I mean, um, nothing that like I'm mad at this seller didn't tell me about. Like it's flat. Colors are popping. So. And then, you know, I'm not gonna show all, but that's just a nice berry cover. All the way up to issue 50. So but hey you guys. So that was great, but those those were like a little early birthday present to myself. I told my brother. This my brother ha had to be here to accept the packages and I was like, yeah, dude, I got some early Chris, or early birthday presents to myself arriving. Uh, I just pulled this out because I barely found this book. It's a uh, Batman special from 84. I was going to get um, Mike um, Golden to sign this. I was so ticked off. I barely found this book and I I wanted to have this for Ty Templeton to sign at Long Beach uh, Comic Expo and I even brought up this cover to him and he, he pulled out his phone and he showed me a picture of something a fan had sent him or showed him at a, a show that someone reenacted this. They had a girl in the foreground both vehicles, and it was just kind of cool that I actually explained, man, I'm pissed. I told Ty Temple that I didn't, I couldn't find this book from the sign, you know, I like the go-go checks. So it was cool that he had a little story. Um, here's my Amazing Spider-Man 239. I still have this set aside for John Romita Jr. copy so I'm not holding my breath though I don't really think honestly in my heart of hearts I don't think it's gonna happen I think by August still it's still too soon uh, I think I don't know I think we're kind of shut out for the year in all honesty if kids can't finish the school season, I don't see why Rick gets to get his book signed. So, you know, it's kind of like, oh man, but it's true. Um, it's just a book I pulled out and read. It's something Davis sent me, Gobbledygook. I thought that was sweet ass. It had a cool uh, Kevin Eastman cover. And when you're talking about Davis, talking about, maybe talking about Tat. Tat sent me this, like, still got a little sticker from Tat. Um, Antarctic Press from a Tat team. So, yeah, just some stuff I'm going through. And, I put this on Instagram, but it's my latest Dan Mendoza, Sad Girl 3. Very pretty. 
All right, so I did 20 minutes, um, which is not too bad, considering that was a nice stack. Uh, I just felt like jumping on camera. Uh, just real quick, here's a little script of something I wrote for my brother. For, uh, just helped me act, act out this little play. And this is what I'm working on for my next video. They're doing that Comic Brains uh, uh, ballpoint pen texturing. Takes takes forever in a day, but it's fun. I put on my uh, my little earbuds and I put on some cannabis. Ripped the jacker and um, spent like an hour, you know, just feathering it on. It's fun. But I'm gonna get back to it. Um, uh, blazing in here, man. Uh, everyone have a good weekend. I'm gonna take a Sunday off. Watch some uh, Better Call Saul with my bro. I'm soaking some pinot beans, so we're gonna have a big batch of beans and watch the TV. So thanks for watching. Um, seen some some great content on there lately. Uh, I haven't been commenting on too many videos, but I've been watching them. Uh, I'm not even gonna say who's been putting out the stuff. You guys know who you are if you're watching. Thanks for providing that content. It gives me something to watch so I don't have to sit in my truck during my lunch break in the dark and eat my sandwich, you know? At least I can be lit from a, a little screen. So, all right. Thanks, everyone. And, um, uh, yeah. I guess, uh, you guys heard that, like, I guess Diamond's gonna start sending out stuff, like, the 20th of this month. So a week from Wednesday, I guess, LCSs will start getting stuff. I don't think you can go to the LCSs unless you do curbside pickup or whatever your restrictions are. You know what, you know what they are. But as for me, I'm taking a break. Um, I got everything frozen. What I got is what I got. That's the PC. PC's kind of closed right now. <laughs> PC's uh, uh, under repair. So, I'm just watching you guys get new stuff. So, I'm really excited for all you guys who are waiting to actually read your books on your little, your stories that have been hanging for uh, since the spring. So, hey, awesome for you guys. And I uh, salute and take it easy.